A lot of people associate psychology with clinical psychology, where counseling and we help people deal with problems. So uh, we are doing research um, that is really on people's behavior, people's cognition, thoughts, emotions, and olfaction. I think it's important to study olfaction because, for one thing, it is not a sense that traditionally has been studied very much. But it is very interesting because what we smell actually influence our behaviors, our thoughts, our emotions, without even us noticing. Currently, my research focuses on the levels of restrained eating, which is just like anywhere from dieters to non-dieters, and how they not only consume food differently in amount, but they also perceive and taste them differently. Interior food samples. Some of the participants still rate that they didn't like the chocolate, it wasn't pleasant, it's very bitter, they're not likely to eat it again, and they eat all of it. The disconnect between the two really interests me. I'm still trying to figure out why people eat so much even if they don't like something and eventually I want to figure out if people actually s even enjoy eating anymore. If they're so consumed by the thought of what is this going to do for my figure, how much of this should I be eating, portion, how many calories does this have, do we still even enjoy eating anymore? I am a developmental psychologist so I study children. We know in this country and elsewhere that children have very narrow uh, taste in terms of what they're going to eat. So um, introducing them to olfaction and to odors and the importance of their nose and the pleasures of smelling something uh, might also help them try out foods and be a bit more varied in what they are willing to try and willing to, to eat. I came into Gettysburg College knowing that I wanted to be a psychology major, but overall I didn't want to do clinical the way I thought I did. And after taking my sensation and perception and learning that that is also considered psych research, I really found that that was my direction to go on and go into food psychology.